I'm doing jujitsu, like you have a really good training session, you're driving home and it's like, you're just, your adrenaline's flowing, you just feel so good, it's like a natural high. I love the U the reason why I picked jiu-jitsu is I love the UFC. And they always like the ground fights were some of the most entertaining fights when they try to triangles and arm bars and it was just so entertaining and just always be like, man, did you see that guy last night? Like the way he got the back or something, like or the way he took him down, like it just and then um, yeah, I saw um, a couple uh, jiu-jitsu fights, but it was like I had no idea what was going on. Like they had geese on, I'm like, what the hell is this man? Like and understand what was actually happening, and then I just was like, I gotta try it. I had to see what's going on. How mentally tough I was, I had to see, you know what I mean? Was I gonna just break down and fail miserably, or could I do this and have fun? I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, in 1983. I, growing up, like middle school was just average. I played soccer, played uh, a little bit of baseball, and then in high school, started, uh, played freshman football my freshman year in high school. So used to be like oh yeah, I was a fat kid. Yeah. Well, when I started high school, I was like 220, 225, and then played football. I was like probably 190. So it was me, my mom, and my sister. My mom like worked two jobs, and she always tried hard to, you know, make sure that I had everything I needed, like food and clothes and everything. So. It was just an average day at work. It was just, you know, did my job. It was just normal driving home. It was. It was like a little bit wet on the roads, and I was going a little bit too fast, and I was going around, there was like a, kind of like an S turn in the road, and like I made the first one, the second one when I was coming out of it, I hit the gas a little too hard, the back end came out, and just went across the road, slammed into a bunch of trees, and then like, I remember seeing like a big light, like it was the helicopter coming to med flight me, and I didn't know what the hell was going on, they were just like, yeah, we're here to help you, we're trying to save you, like I remember that a little bit, and then I woke up in the hospital like two weeks later, and the doctor came in the next morning and was like, look son, uh, you're gonna be paralyzed from the waist down, and you'll be able to move your legs again. I started explaining what that means to be paralyzed, and like, I was just like, no nah, man, I'm not paralyzed, like, I'm not, like, I'm gonna get up tomorrow and I'm gonna walk out that door. Every day was, it was like going to war, man. Like, just getting out of bed was a battle. Like, just, I didn't want to do it, man. I just wanted to lay in bed. I didn't want to do anything. Yeah, I lived in Fort Myers for probably about a year, maybe a year and a half. And then I ended up trying to find a school to do Jiu Jitsu at. And I found Team Third Law in Naples. I knew, like, mentally I could do it. And mentally, I'm pretty strong, so. What physically I lack, maybe mentally I can make up for it with doing something hard. Uh, I train six days a week. I train like two or three times a day, six days a week. So this is extremely hard. Like every day is a challenge. Nothing's easy. They don't give you anything. No one's gonna give you an inch. NSP means no special privileges. It's a nickname that I got from Master Roberto. It means that I don't get any special treatment that anybody else wouldn't get. I just get treated like any other student. Um, I have no special privileges when it comes to grappling. I just grapple like anybody else. I just ask them to try not to break my legs, and that's about it. I mean, I'll grapple with anybody here at the school. And... So since my accident, this is definitely a high point. I mean, there's a lot of low points before that, doing nothing, not doing anything positive in life and this is definitely a positive thing that I'm doing it's for me, for everybody around me. Like it just feels good. Every day is fun, every day you learn something new, every day is a challenge. Yeah, I can't wait to get up out of bed every day and go to the gym, see everybody and work out. <laughs> Three competitions, point one fight, and just want to do more competitions. 
for the competition and it was like just wanted to, I was there with all my teammates, just wanted to have fun and at least give the guy a fight and that's why I did my first competition. I lost both gi and no gi, but it was fun. I gave the guy a fight and you know, he didn't submit me, so it's a win for me, you know. And then um, second competition, I won one fight in no gi, so that was huge for me. It made me feel like, hey, maybe I can actually give these guys a real fight, you know. And then uh, I lost my gi fight, but it was points and so. Um, and then I did one more and I lost both fights, gi and no gi, but it was still fun. I mean, it's, it's a challenge, it's fun, it's awesome. It was probably my second or third class. It was a Sunday morning class, and I grappled a little bit, but it was just so much fun. And Master Berto called me over like after class was over and was like, um, so did you have fun? I was like, yeah, it was awesome, man. Like, he's like, how do you feel? I'm like, I feel great. Like, I love this. And Master Berto asked me, how long do you want to keep coming here? How long do you want to keep doing this? And I looked down for a second, and I was like, as long as you'll let me. And then he looked down for a second and looked back up, and he was like, forever. And I was like, all right, forever. I'm here. I'm in.